AC. I said one, two, three, then you start. Back there. Now I have locked the steering. For security reasons, anytime you park in the house, try as much as possible to lock the steering so that armed robbers or thieves may not take advantage to move your vehicle away. Once your steering is locked, then you need the real key of the car to unlock it. So, at the moment, I have locked it. And if you want to unlock it, so put the key to the ignition. And remember that always press your clutch when you are pushing the key to the ignition. And again, put your foot also on the brakes whilst you are doing this. Now, so to free my steering, I'll push the steering halfway. Are you looking at it? Right now, it is locked. It can never be unlocked if you turn the key on. You'll have to push the steering to the middle a little bit before it will unlock. In other cases, you have knobs, but this says push and free. Did you see that? So you, you push, it is locked. So you push it, put it in the middle, and now it's free. So I've done one, I've done two, I've done three. Now, I'll go over again. When it is on ACC, this tells you that there is current in the car for certain places to work. When it goes to on, on means that you are ready to start the car and then you see all the light formation to recharge your battery cannot be possible because the fan belt moves the alternator. The alternator's work is to supply energy back to the battery. The battery's work is only to start the car. It stores power and it's supposed to start the car. That is all it does. Okay? So if you are driving and then you see the battery light on, then it means you have a major fault. You should park your vehicle as soon as possible. If you don't park your vehicle, then it means you are doing a damage to the battery. The battery is supplying energy, but it cannot be recharged. So I go to on and again other lights such as the temperature gauge and other important lights will come on. Then this is how to start with my foot on the clutch and the brake. You press it and the vehicle has started. Your gear Yes, you put your foot on the clutch and brake for any emergency situation. Assuming it's on first, and then watch it, watch it. It's on first and I want to start the car. See what is happening? Because my foot, my, uh, the gear is on first, and I didn't know, and I had to start it, the car starts to move. So if your foot is not on the clutch and the brake, then you may be in trouble, just to be so sure. Other cars could develop a fault and maybe you can see your gear in neutral position, but it is in first. So make sure that your gear lever is always in neutral position. And then remember, one, two, and start. If you look at the way I started this car, right, which I'll get you to um, to do it. I didn't do this. Watch me. You didn't hear the sound. You didn't hear the sound. That sound means that I am damaging my starter, right? Because you are only supposed to start and remove your hands from the keys. I'll only allow you to 
learn how to start and then turn the engine off. When you turn the engine off, you haven't finished though. You will have to press the key and then turn it to your left till the turn is over before you can remove the key. Then you can lock your steering for security reasons. So I am going to ask Ima to do it. Okay. Are you comfortable? Yeah. Okay. Now, to know whether you are comfortable, you press the clutch with your left foot. Don't look at it. Right? That's, press it down. Yes, that is it. That's the clutch. Press it down. Now, have we all noticed that there's a curve here? There's, there's a bend in the, the legs. That is the right position. Right. So now, you will have to fill the gear and make sure that it is in a neutral position. So you push it to left and then you push it to right. Right, then you see. Yeah, so that is a neutral position. Now the difference in it is that push it to one position and see. One says bring, bring me, push me this way. Good, and then push it me forward. That is number one. This is where you can start your vehicle. With your handbrake up, clutch down, foot on brake. Now, hold the key. Hold the key. Now, the, the steering is locked. So, what do you have to do? What did I teach you? You have to. When you push the key, it will not go. So, you have to push the steering a little bit to the middle. Eh? Push it this way or this way. You see, it's not going, so you can only push it this way. So push it a little bit in the middle before freeing the key. So do it. Yeah, now so turn the key a little bit. Yes, it's hard. As it moves now. Good, so you are out of the steering lock mode. Now look on the key and then you see you have, it's already on one. You have a second point there on. So go to two. Now you are on three. On. As soon as you go on, read what is here. Okay. The red lights are on. Battery light is on, indicating that you are ready to start. So push the, the key down for the car to start. Yes. So did you see what he did? After starting, his hands were still on the key. So he was telling a starter that starter, spoil, starter, spoil the female. So remember always that even before you start your car, hold your phone and put it on silent, not on vibration. Because if you are going to drive, these are some of the things that you have to do. Right, you put your phone on silent so nobody disturbs you. Right, so if I key in the key to the ignition, now adjust your seats and see. Are you press the clutch? If you press your the clutch and then your foot is straight, then it means that you have to adjust it forward. Good. Now so adjust it forward, hold the steering, put your hands at the right down corner. Okay, there's a knob there, push it up and pull yourself, push yourself forward. Good, that is it. Did you do it alone or somebody she pushed it? Okay. <laughs> now press the, um, use your foot to go down. So now you have the band here. Okay. Your foot also must go on the brakes. Yes, you have to press on the clock, press on the brakes for emergency situation before you start your car. Now check the gear lever and make sure that it is on neutral. And remember how to check it. To the left and to the right means it's on neutral. To be so sure, push it to position one. Now let's go through the process of starting. You start in the car, clutch down, brake, push the key to the ignition. I can do it again. Yes. 
Now this time you are not going to look at it. Uh, you push the key there, push the push the key to second position, push it to the third position, then you see the light. Good. Which means that the next push you are going to start it. So let's start it. Good. Brilliant. You have done it. Okay, so start it. Now press the clutch and see. Down, pull it. Right? You need to pull a little bit further. So no, not your body. So you have to move the seat forward again. Now press it and see. Now, your, your, your hands, remember you should have a pen in your hand, okay? So you would have to turn, hold this one, okay? So you bring the seat a little bit back. Are you comfortable? Then you release it. So this is the position at which you should drive. Your hands must be, your arms must be bent. But don't ever do this. <laughs> You see some people driving and they are like this. You sit up, sit. They are like this. When you are like this, you cannot control your steering. And then your chest must not be close to the steering. When there's any form of emergency, your chest is going to hit the steering and you may have internal bleeding. Now look on the dashboard, all the red lights are on and then Press it again and leave your hand. Brilliant. Miss McCarthy is driving. Talk loudly so we can pick your voice. Can we have some silence? into the car and there's just a, a key knob that you have to press okay with all the latest cars they have you press it and the car starts